Hey everybody, it's Randy again, uh, back out in the field on a very cold day. Um, I've trudged about two miles down this creek to find this outcrop, and I thought I'd give you a walk through it here real quick. So let me switch the camera around so you can see the rocks and not have to look at me. Nobody wants to do that. But uh, so this is the section. So I'm in the same section that I was in last week in that video that I posted. So the gray shale here that you see with all of these um, concretion horizons, that's the Kashakwa shale. And then this blocky brownish black shale up here, that's the Rhine Street. So we're, we're again, just below the contact here. Um, if you keep going downstream, you would be into the Middlesex black shale. So that was a deepening transgressive event. And then you come out of that into these regressive gray shales here of the Kashakwa shale. But what's interesting is if you look here at this section, you can see there's the contact with the Rhine Street right there. And you can see that blockier, heavily fractured material. And then you go through here, which is about two meters or so of a darker gray shale, which is still part of the Kashakwa, but it has slightly elevated TOC. Again, you're talking about maybe like half a percent or something like that TOC. And then you get down here and you can see then you're into just this light gray shale material down through here. And what this likely represents here is a sea level rise event, or at least a base level rise that's occurring down here in the Kashakwa before you get up into the main event of the Rhine Street deepening event up above it there. So, so what you're going through is regressive systems tracks material up through here until you hit this point here and then you start to see the deepening event which really takes place there at the base of the Rhine Street. Now you can see some of these beds in here are heavily fractured. Those are thin black shale units that represent some sort of high stands beds in there. They're good organic rich black shales. Those fractures are catagenic fractures from hydrocarbon generation. They're probably Milankovitch forced or something like that. But that's kind of the overall picture here. So again, we got black shales downstream coming up through this gray shale section before passing back up into black shales again in this upper Devonian cycle that just continually repeats that coming out of the uh, Taghanic Unconformity. So hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm gonna see what uh, goodies I can find in here and make sure that I don't freeze because it's cold and it's starting to snow. Thanks for joining me guys.